Okay, so assuming my boat happens to have a Mercury engine and Mercury style cables, and not every Mercury engine actually has what's called a Mercury Gen 1 style cable, some actually use a 33C style cable, so it is important to identify the proper cable for your particular application. And if it looks like that, that's a Mercury Gen 1. Now before installing the Mercury Gen 1 cable on the control, I have to put the K35 connection kit on here. And what the K35 does, it effectively extends the length of the cable such that I can go ahead and attach it to the control. And I would attach the K35 using a small circlip that locks that cable all together. All right, now I have my K35 installed on my throttle cable. I have to do exactly the same operation for the shift cable. So I'm going to go ahead and put the K35 connection kit on. Again, this is required for use on any of the Mercury Gen 1 style cables and it will allow me to basically extend the length of the cable to fit the control. Alright, now I've got my K35 connection kit installed on the end of the shift cable and the shift cable is the first one that I'm going to install on the control. Dropping the barrel in the corresponding uh, receptacle there and then dropping the other end over this post on this, the throttle, or excuse me, the shift cam. I'm going to use another circlip and get that in place and put that, push that in, and then my shift cable will be installed and I'll be ready to go to over to the throttle cable. Okay, now that I've got my shift cable installed onto the control, it's time to do the throttle cable. And I've installed the K35 on the end of the throttle cable, and I put it into this receptacle here, again in the center, right there, in the aftmost hole. And then I'm going to go ahead and position the other end of the, the cable over the post on the throttle cam. And again, I'm going to go ahead and put another circlip in. And now I've got the two cables installed on the control. And the last step to installing the control cable is to put this component right over the top, making sure that there's a good fit between those parts, that they're well connected and retained. And then I'm going to just go ahead and tighten these screws. Good and tight. And now I've got the two cables installed, got my neutral safety switch installed, got my throttle cam in the proper orientation, shift cam is in the proper orientation, got my flange all set and ready to install into the balance of the boat. And at this point, I think we're ready to take the next step. For information on this product or any of the other fine products from Uflex, feel free to reach out to us at www.uflexusa.com or to our technical service team at 941-351-2628. Thanks and have a great day.